Hello everybody, welcome to a new game. This one is going to be a little bit different. This is Beetle Uprising. The developers of uh, Empires of the Undergrowth uh, reached out to me and asked me to play this game for their friends who uh, have created this game. And, I, you know, I've seen them tweet about it, and as much as I love Empires of the Undergrowth, I never um, went out and checked this game out, which I'm surprised, you know, looking back on it. But now that we have... The time and the opportunity and the motive and the means let's give this a try see how this looks um by the by the name of it you probably can guess this is a game where you control a lot of beetles um and there's some complex dna uh manipulation going on here some uh mutations and stuff so this should be really interesting the beetles can look pretty wild got a little bit of a story going on Look at all these colorful beetles. Wave after wave of the enemy fell before her. And when the enemy committed all to the battle, so did she. She exploded. Oh my god. We rise and take our place in this world. Okay, so that's just, I guess, a little bit of a setup for uh, your colony. This is the help screen. To get here later, hit escape and select the help button. You're in control of a fledgling beetle nest left to you by the matriarch who died after clearing it for you. Your goal is to conquer this beautiful abandoned lot. You'll start play in your home nest. This is a safe place for you to breed and raise your beetles. You'll need to take care of, uh, to care for your beetles, collecting food and supplies by doing tasks in the abandoned lot. Selectively breeding ever faster, stronger, healthier beetles is the key to your success. Your initial beetles are weak. Completing missions will give you eggs with new genetics. <clears throat> Breed the new beetles with existing ones. It's, uh, it's only the map of a vacant lot, but it is the world to your beetles. From the map, you'll send your beetles on tasks to gather needed supplies for your nest. Superior and happier beetles succeed more often. Missions are an RTS engagement on a 3D map. There are tricks and tactics to get the most out of your beetle swarms, but sometimes you just need better beetles. If your beetles cannot beat the foe, try going back and breeding for the stats that you think they need to succeed. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, the beetles need uh, items placed in the nest to thrive. Click this button to view your inventory of items. Okay. Double click on an item and then move it over. We got pumpkin seeds. The rest of the gourd is too big to carry. That'll do, beetle. I'll do. Uh, holding the mouse, drag it out. Okay. We need to give them food. Looks like there's bread in here too already. They're just gonna munch on it. I guess, uh, I guess I don't care for, look, we got plenty of food. We don't need it in our inventory. Got a burlap sack, a bed of leaves. Can I dig? Can I dig this nest out or is this where we are? Some twine? What do we need twine for? Are you eating the twine? Excuse me. And Okay, he's rubbing. What did you drop? Oh, look at all this. Quickness? Strength? Does red mean good or bad? So it looks like they're hanging out together. Can I go outside? What happens if I go outside? Okay, here's our nest. This is the empty lot. And our current quest is a starting beetle. Oh, no, 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 this is the reward. A handful of stragglers from the forces defeated by the matriarch are wandering about our doorstep. Roll them over with the unwelcome mat. Chance of death on failure zero percent okay, and we have one two or three stars wait 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 how do i send them oh the game is the game pause simulation time for you every time you leave the nest the game will auto pause you can start it again whenever you want to turn on off auto pause and completely manage simulation time yourself okay map shows all the areas of the nest that must be conquered this this is the nest area in the bottom right. Uh, ex by exploring areas and completing missions, you can conquer the whole map. The icons on the map show activities your beetles can do to advance the swarm's goals. Some activities let you explore an area which either discovers the area itself or finds new activities in that area. 
Some activities send a beetle to forage for food or scavenge for useful items. Click on an icon that to, uh, to show that activity on the right. Task and missions, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> you can choose which beetle you want to undertake it. When you tell the beetle to begin the task, it will leave your nest and gather the items or explore the map for you. The dangerous world out there, so it is so there is a chance that the beetle will be injured or even die. This is a combat mission. We must eliminate them to proceed. Click the attack button on the right to create your swarm and battle the enemy. Let's do it. Let's see how our beetles... Wait a minute. <clears throat> the selected beetle will be used to create a swarm of copies that will enter the battlefield. Making a swarm takes a lot out of the a beetle, so expect it to take a while to fully recover. Slider lets you blah blah blah. I need goop to be able to build a larger swarm. How much goop do I have? When you have selected the beetle you want to copy and have chosen the swarm size, click begin to launch the mission onto victory. How much goop do I have? I have 2,000 goop. Which beetle do we want to use, by the way? Durzdaz or Oporkin? Um, this guy seems pretty weak. This guy, or yeah, Oporkin, you know, he's, he's the boss. His armor sucks, but his health kind of sucks. No, his health is not bad. Regeneration heals by itself. Each of these arrows indicate that a beetle has a superior or inferior stat relative to the rest of your collection. Oh, that's what that means. And then you can sort the beetles by a specific stat. That's pretty clever. But we're going to use a pork in here because he's got, you know, he's got better... Uh, got better strength, better quickness. His armor is a little worse, but it's not too much worse. I think his superior strength and quickness um, it's going to help out a lot, but he's not as tanky as the other guy. Let's send him out there. Okay, so I have to... This is your swarm of beetles to control. Click on the ground to set marker. The marker system reminds me of um, Empires of the Undergrowth. Use the mouse wheel to zoom. Yeah, I've already been doing that. Where are the beetles that we need to take out? Where are my enemies? Yeah, I've already been doing that. Your beetles will automatically attack when they are close to enemies. Hold the shift key when you click on the ground, or double click to tell your swarm to ignore enemies while marching with a marker. It does look different. Objectives are in the top left. To complete this mission, you must eliminate all the straggling enemies that are wandering about. Completing more than the first objective will get you better rewards. Finish in less than one and a half minute, or finish in less than three minutes. These guys are spitting at me? Excuse me. Here, that's what I thought. Okay, we got some stuff going on up here as well. Okay, they're starting to swarm in. There's a lot of them. And you want me to finish this in a minute and a half? Here, take him out. Here, don't run from me. Why are you running? Gotta be careful not to double click. Honestly, I feel like finishing this in a minute and a half is a hugely, uh, it's a huge task. Dude, look at, he exploded. I wish I could split them, though. Is this the last guy? Yeah. Me, me halfway, brother. Oh, he wasn't the last guy. There was a little spitter guy left. No, there's even more? They're just hiding around in the back. These beetles are cowards. They can't even... They don't even deserve to be called beetles. Uh, two shots, one kill. And we get an egg for our troubles. Has the basics to get the job done, but it is particularly particularly lacking in armor. Our nest, two or three star. Okay. So he's... he wants to go heal. 
Ooh. Green is great, yellow is red, red is very unhappy. Beetles need food, uh, fun, rest, and grooming. <laughs> so, they groom themselves with this sack. I don't know what they do with the twine, but I'm... But they eat the bread and the, uh, the, the seed. I don't know what you're gaining. Is that experience points? Juice the selected beetle? Excuse me, that's disgusting. And horrifying. Our plan is to explore the red rocks. Alright, we can send the uh, Durs Daz out there to do that. It's red rocks. What's this? Only a 54% chance of a success. When a beetle attempts an exploration task, it might discover additional sources of food and items. And there's a source of food over here that we could use to forage, but we don't really need to do that right now. And this place has a... Wait, this is it a scavenging task? Oh, find useful items for the nest. Possible rewards are a bed item, grooming item, or a toy item. The twine is a toy! Because, of course, beetles need to have fun, too. Durzdaz will be out of the nest for 59 seconds and then will report the status of their task. Okay, have fun there, Durzdaz. Bye! Have a great time! What else do we have in our inventory? A sugar cube? It's good we do not have teeth. Dude, they can have a pet rock. Here, we'll put pet rock in the corner over here. So, okay, it looks like this burlap sack is going to decay after a while. Hours, minutes, and seconds of simulation time before it decays into trash. And the inventory items never go bad. Okay, so, that's some incentive for us to... Six minutes? A bed of leaves only lasts six minutes? Oh my god. So if I drag this out, it's gonna start decaying immediately. Okay, I can't move it. Oh, his bed of leaves just got destroyed. What happened? I got another pet rock. Rarely breaks and always loyal. But we got more beds of leaves. I can't believe it only lasts six minutes, dude. And this one lasts days. Why does that one last days? Is it so I could just have a, a bed of rocks? All right, they, they, seem, they seem to be pretty happy. Let's go and explore. Here, we'll send O'Porkin out here. Chance of success is only 33%. I don't know if that's what we need. The chance of death is pretty high over here as well. I really don't want to send O'Porkin out there. Not right now, anyway. How do I breed them? The two parents were automatically chosen but you can choose which beetles to breed by select, uh, clicking a parent slot like this one and then selecting a beetle from the list at the bottom. Once you've selected the parents to breed, click the breed button on the middle of the screen. Click to breed these selected beetles. Click this button to breed the two parents on the left and create nine potential offspring to examine. You then get to choose one of the nine to keep. And it costs me goop. Which I seem to have made some of, and I don't know where from. Alright, let's just see what happens. That's a disgusting noise. There are nine possible offspring. Choose the one you like best. You can sort the offspring by using the buttons to the right. When you have decided which to keep, click this button. Each of these errors indicate that the beetle has a superior or inferior stat relative to the rest of the other beetles. You can act as a quick indicator. Uh, for your best and worst beetles. You can double click an offspring to bring up the beetle inspector for more details. So it doesn't look like I found any... Oh! This one is just straight up better in all categories. His, uh, strength is... He's not better in all categories, but he's either, like, roughly equivalent or better in all categories. Whereas this guy... Like... He's trash. In like in three categories. I'm not gonna sit here and completely analyze. Let's go ahead and just keep this guy. Uh sure, you can be named Agiznun. He's our new champion. 
We're not going to breed them again right now. So, but he's, he's just a baby. Its happiness needs to reach at least yellow-green for it to grow to full size. Young beetles can do anything a grown beetle can do, but it may require more goop or have some limitations. Good to know. Let's go back home. We got a new little guy. Look at him. He's just immediately going to go to bed. What a chump. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Don't juice any beetles. Don't, don't click on that. Okay, the bed of grass lasts a significantly longer amount of time. Oh, the bed of grass is just straight up better in every way. Let's just get the leaves out of the way. It sounds like he's munching on that. Ooh, speaking of munching, they're out of food. Yeah, we gotta give them food. Here, have a blueberry. It's like a dessert. Sorry, right. he's gonna he's gonna go and do stuff. We have a couple of eggs as well. Uh, we hatch him. Rect rectnon, and then Ozig Ozignus. How are their stats? U Ugiznan is still uh, the champion. They were kind of lame. The new babies that I added to the nest, like. They're kind of not good. Also, they're taking a lot of food. Like, the blueberry's gone. That other piece of bread that I dropped is gone. And we'll just keep, just keep dropping food down there. Put another pet rock in another corner. Uh, drop them down right, right there. And they can play with the twine all they want. I don't know what's going to happen when we level up. Wait a minute. You gain XP from the beetles? Move the mouse cursor when they sparkle? I mean, I don't actually need to collect them manually, it looks like. Alright, let's send them out on the next mission. Um, who, who can I send to explore? 52% chance of success, 2.9% chance of death. You know, it's fine. Oh, Porkin, he's gonna do it. And then, uh, Ozignus. I don't want to send Ozignus. I want to send Dur... Durzdaz. Durzdaz, you go out there, bring us some more stuff for the nest. Um, Ugiznan, you can bring some stuff as well. And then we can sit here and wait for a while. While our babies grow up. It's like a little piece of PVC pipe here. So it seems like long term, the goal is to selectively breed your beetles to have the strongest beetle population that you possibly can. So you select strong parents to make even stronger babies. And, um,. As far as mutations go, I don't know how that part works out. Now let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Yeah, they can they can do what they gotta do. That looks like they grew up. Durzdaz failed to complete a task. Come on, Durzdaz. You both failed. Look, I sent you out there with the express mission to bring us more beds, to bring us more food, more toys. And you blew it, my man. You blew it. Eggs can only be placed when you have room for more beetles. That bed got destroyed. Why? I thought that bed had like four hours left on it. Well, um, I think we need to, here, let's go send them back out. Durzdaz, you gotta do it. You gotta do it right. Same with you, Agiznan. Go ahead. And, um... Rectnon. Go out on your first mission. Same with you, Azignus. Azignus. 
We're just sending the whole crew out. Beetles with bile spit attack enemies at a distance? Heck yeah, dude. Oh, pork and failed. Look. Just because I'm a new beetle overlord does not mean that you can slack off. Yeah, you come in here, eat my food, use my burlap sack to rub the dust off of your shiny little hide over here, but you failed. And that fact isn't gonna change. Maybe I should have sent somebody else out there. Um, what's good for exploring? Ferocity? Helps on foraging tasks. Ferocity helps on foraging tasks. Quickness helps on exploration tasks. And he is not quite my quickest beetle. Agiznon is my quickest beetle, but come on, he's he's second quickest. He should be doing better. I'm thinking maybe I should breed some more. Durstaz failed? Okay. Okay. Agiznon is pulling through. He pulled us some goop, some experience, and a couple of beds. Got more failures. Cotton towel? Ooh. We're living in luxury now, boys. Mmm. We need more beds. These beds are not lasting long at all. This burlap sack is gonna last forever, though. Cotton towel is much better, but still. We do need to go get some food. Um... Let's go for breed. You cannot breed because you are not a high enough level. Each level gives you more and more beetles. If you want to breed now, you will need to juice one of your current beetles. Look for the blender option. All right. Who we juicing, boys? Durzdaz, I don't think, has succeeded on a single mission. So I think I want to juice this guy. Soothing paramone beetles near beetles that are in combat to replenish their health. You know what? Um, get me out of this menu. Durzdaz? Oh! Durzdaz? Durzdaz. Beetles need food, fun, rest, and grooming to be happy. And go have fun, oh porkin. And not with Durzdaz. Durzdaz is getting juiced. Look, I killed your friend. It's because you weren't doing good enough. Oh, those sugar cubes do not last, do they? Uh, breed, breed, breed. Rectnon. No, Agiznon is going to be one. Rectnon. Yeah, I think he's the best option. Rectnon or a Porkin. I mean, they're literally the same. Here, let's do these guys. Here we go. There's a good one up here. And this is also a good option. Strength 43. This guy has more quickness, though, which is going to be great. Ooh, this guy has a lot of quickness. His armor's really bad, though. 37. He's, he's a pretty interesting beetle, all things considered. But let's take the more balanced one. We'll keep this guy. Ranrar, welcome to the welcome to the club, boy. Agiznon is now basically uh, equal across all. We can now have up to eight beetles in our nest. We can now save up to three beetle appearances, and we got a lot of rewards. This brightens up the nest. It's just decorative stuff. That's cool. Um. Here, let's go and send some of our boys out on a foraging mission. Oh, Porkin, go grab some food. Here, don't show this anymore. I don't need that anymore. Uh, you're a baby. No. Uh, you have a 100% chance to grab stuff. So go and do that. Yours is pretty high as well. Uh, as for Azignus, 43% chance. 54% chance. Here, just go and try and grab some more beds. It's really what we need the most right now. And while you're out... While you're out, we're just gonna add some more fun to the nest. 
It's neat, needs some more twine. You can put a nice crystal here in the corner. To make things look nice and uh, cozy. Create some walls. Here. Put the wall up against a wall. By the way, if you haven't watched or seen anything about Empires of the Undergrowth yet, if you're a fan of Dungeon Keeper or games like that, I would highly recommend that. Especially if you like ants. <clears throat> ants are a lot of fun. Ooh, what did you grab? What is that? Drop of nectar? You got a lot of food. You got a lot of food as well. Wrecked non, come on man. Your chance was like 98% and you blew it. Come on my guy. How do I rotate things? It's fine, we don't need to worry about that right now. Yeah, let's put more leaves down. I don't think I need that many. That was a mistake. Oh, our burlap sack is gone. Let's put the other one down. We're gonna just put the garbage down first. This UI could use a little bit of love. How, much, how long does this apple last? It only has four uses in it. Blueberry only has three. Drop of Nectar has a single use. This food doesn't last long at all. Looks like one, uh, I think one of our beetles just... Uh, huh, he's very happy. Okay, let's... um. Hmm. This is this is way too much <laughs> for my brain. There's a lot of genetic info here if you want to use it. The multicolored bars on each side of the center line represent the value of allele in this stat gene. Each gene has two alleles. The allele values range from 0 to 5 points of contribution towards the stat. The blue lines at the end or past the end of the allele bar indicates the best value you have for that gene in your gene pool. The beetle that has both alleles on the left and right of the center line filled out to the blue lines has the best possible values for that gene, at least until you find a new egg. Okay, so what that says to me is that the quickness of Rectnon, who is our third quickest. Here, let's check this guy out. So a beetle that has alleles on the left and right of the center line filled out to the blue lines is the best possible value. So we have plenty of quickness that we can extract, not extract, but like improve. Ferocity seems to be close to maximum. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna take, let's see, we're gonna take Ranrarm here and we're gonna breed him with Ogiznon. And we're gonna get some fast boys. Look at this, 37. We're losing out on some perception. But not much. So we'll keep this guy. Oporomus, you're gonna be our explorer in the future. And it's gonna be great. And which of these is good for foraging? Scavenging? Ferocity is good for, for foraging. We have a lot of really ferocious beetles. It's kind of crazy. All right, he's gonna come in here, he's gonna do his thing. Uh, we do need to send more beetles out on more missions. Ever more missions. Home sweet home? Why is it deployed zero? Oh, I think that's just missions that we have. Here, we'll send some, uh, some, some more out for some more food. I guess none. 69% chance. Here, let's explore close to home. See what you can find. And then... Scavenging is regeneration. Oh, uh, Ozygnus, you're good at scavenging. Let's send you out. 
Agiznon is also a very good scavenger. Operomus. Why is your chance of success so low? It's because you- Oh, you're a baby. You're not going out. We're not sending you out there. N not even close. And his chance of success is lower because he's not as happy. So we'll send you out with your 81% chance of success. And then you go out with your 98% chance. Bring us some more food. We desperately need it. By desperate, I don't know if I'm being uh, sincere with that. Desperation is nowhere near where we're at. All I want is for this guy. You need to grow up so I can send you out to your possible doom. I don't know what you're going to find out there in your possible doom, but we're going to continue to explore this land and eventually conquer it. It's weird that it sounds like munching whenever they're playing with the twine. Yeah, eat your blueberry. Go play with your twine. Be as happy as you possibly can be, little beetle buddy, before I send you out to... just die. Just get murdered. Everybody's going to come back at the same time. It's going to be kind of awkward in the hallways right outside. Let's fast forward until they're back. Agiznon, how did you fail, dude? You had a pretty good chance. Oh, well, we got a lot of stuff. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this food. What is that? Popcorn? Full of empty promises of nutrition. You know what? It's better than nothing, right? And then now I think we just need to wait for them to be a little happier again before they, uh... Before we send them back out. Do they not play with rocks? I don't think they bother playing with rocks. This twine only has six uses left. This bed of leaves is almost done. Fine, somebody, somebody make this guy happy so he can grow up. Azignus, uh, you're super happy. Let's send you out there. Azignus is not super happy anymore. But Rechnon? Dude, it's over. Hey, these guys both have the same chance to explore here. They have roughly the same quickness, but this guy has no, this guy has better perception, and that's covering up the one point of quickness. That's interesting. Please succeed, my guy. We need you out there. We need you to do good work. That's all I'm asking. Just bring us, bring us some stuff. Are you leaving or what? No, he's not leaving. He's a baby. Where do you think you're going? What do you think they're doing when they're dancing together like this? Uh, teaching each other the ways of beetledom? Oh! He just injected growth hormones. Trash? The bed of leaves just decayed. It's not cool. Alright. Oh, promise. We need you to be a little happier before we send you out. It's fine. We can put down another bed of leaves. I don't think we need as many out as we have had. Those don't decay. Wait, what? A new task was discovered. Junk collectors? Okay. Got another rock for our rock collection. A lot more food, some hazelnuts, some more popcorn. Here, as soon as you wake up, my guy, Operomus, I really want to send you out there to explore. Yeah, he was glowing full of experience points. So we took him. Are you happy yet? I need you to be happy, my guy. I need you to be ecstatic. Just over the freaking moon is what I want. Here, more twine. Uh, we don't need another bed out quite yet. But we'll put some popcorn out. 
Yeah. Gotta love that popcorn. Come on, let's... Let's have an opportunity to send you out. Oparomus, let's go. Oparomus, hopefully not full of empty Oparomuses. Gonna suck if he dies. Like, it's gonna suck real bad if he dies. I don't want him to die. But you know what? Sometimes sacrifices have to be made. Who would have guessed that potato bugs are hoarders? So, I don't think... Hmm. I don't... Are these any different? Do they give different things? This one, I think, gives more beds, maybe? This one... Maybe more junk? Here, Agiznan, go do your thing. Rectanon, you go as well. I guess we can send the rest of these fellas out. Go, uh... Go grab some more food. Let's go. And now we wait. Oparomus, I don't see succeeding. 67% chance, like, historically, that doesn't work out for me. What'd you grab, Goop? Another one of those? Rectanon failed. Ranrarm, of course, succeeded. Food is easy to gather. Oparomus. Now's your time. Your opportunity to prove that I did not fail in breeding you, in creating you. You are our only hope. What are you doing to that food, my guy? Chill out. Did that food rot? Did I put too much food out and it got turned into trash? Oh no. Fast forward a little bit. <gasps> he did it! A new area was discovered. We had learned about the number of swarms. We have learned what types of enemies there are. We have learned how many enemies oppose us. What does the map say? Beetles of such high status display accelerated reflexes, plus quickness, plus health, per plus perception. This is a red rock beetle egg. And it gets, gets better stats. Completionist slash attempts. All right, let's uh, let's finish off this episode by sending out our strongest beetle boy. Who do we want to send though? I can only send one swarm. Oh, there's like a complex looking circle of values over here. Huh. Seriously, who do we want to send out? I want somebody relatively quick, with decent armor, and good strength. Ranrarm, I think, is going to be our warrior here. Well, this guy is better. Oparomus. He went out there and just absolutely destroyed. I don't think I can have more swarms. Create your swarms, he's mostly dead. Who's mostly dead? Oh, that's the mission name. Okay. Let's begin! Are those ants? You, I already know how the mission objectives work. These are ants! Let's go and murder the ants. Pass the freaking human hand. Excuse me. The beetles go marching one by one. Hurrah. Hurrah. Oh, these ants, they mean business. That's all right. They're nothing to me. Oh, there's more over here. Uh, some missions also, yeah, okay. So it looks like there's only these two swarms of ants and my guys are climbing through the rocks. Great. 
Oh my god. I, did, I didn't give you permission to ambush me, guys. My beetles seem to be uh, taking everything pretty well. They seem to be taking these hits. Their armored chitin carapaces are holding strong, except for that one. He died. But I think we only got one casualty in this entire excursion. Oparomus is just like, oh, I've seen some stuff, man. This one has plus perception. Plus quickness, health, and perception. That's going to be real nice. And a red rock trophy. Brains? Heals and strengthens the carapace. Now eat, there are starving bugs in the old country. Oh my gosh. Whose brains is it? Well, we got a lot of good rewards. We leveled up. Got some carrots. It's not what I thought that was. Got a... Violet Crystal crust Cluster. A lot more goop. Explore to air is humus. Explore the lost beach. Oh, and my freaking nest has been expanded significantly. Yeah, this guy's coming home and resting. Even though literally all he did was create a lot of babies in his image. Um, so good on you for being a lazy sack of garbage. I don't know who you think you are, but, uh, you know, you didn't do that great. I'm just going to say, you just, you didn't do that great. We have enough beds out, I think. Three beds. Where's our eggs? I think we need more food out. Yeah, let's put the brains out, dude. It's got a lot of healing properties. Put an apple out. It's fine. I'm going to hatch this guy, Gracuzzi. Got the the quickness, and we'll hatch uh, Durnus. We have plenty of room for three more beetles. Gonna be a lot of beetle sex going on in this game, but I think for now. That's gonna do it for this episode. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna do more of this game. Um, I don't know. It's probably something I'll end up playing more in my free time. I just wanted to do um, the developers of this game a favor and show it off because it's got some really neat things to it. Like like this whole breeding thing where you're. What are these stars? Hold on. An allele in this gene is unique and highest among all of your beetles. You probably want to breed this into some other beetles so you don't lose it. So what happens if I double click on our uh, our quickest our quickest new baby boy? Gracuzzi. Yeah? No, that's who I have. His health is really high too. This guy's a this guy's a champ. His regeneration is garbage, but you know what everything else that he has is pretty amazing. This guy has nothing good. But yeah, I mean, look at all the complexity that we have here. Plenty of really... Plenty of depth to, to dive into here. And all of this content... Just like all of this content that you can explore with your beetles. Um, unfortunately, the game didn't seem to do well when it launched. And I think a lot of that might have to do with just kind of how rough the user interface for this game is. Um, it's kind of annoying to scroll through your beetles like this, and like, the buttons are so huge. Uh, th I feel like there's a lot that can be done to improve the user experience. And honestly, a good user experience is gonna go a long way in helping your game uh, get more people. Uh, get more people playing it. Because the first impression is worth a lot. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to rotate these, this, uh, these blocks. I can rotate the camera. <laughs> I don't know how to rotate these blocks, though. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this little, uh, showing of Beetle Uprising. Definitely a game with some, uh, interesting ideas. And we saw at the beginning how crazy the beetles can get. Like, exploding death beetles? Yes, please, give me some of that. But maybe someday. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.